A lot of times I'm driving, there's nothing to do. And I shuffle through the radio before I unglue. There's a lot of red on ways, it's traffic, I'm screwed. And I'm wired a bit different than a regular dude. It's not a bad thing, I embrace it, it's true. The radio don't stimulate brain chemistry fluid. The Buddha found nirvana and the four noble truths. Through a meditative process, right action he proved. For me, I require the use of a tool, a detector, pin, pointer, shovel, and beach scoop. I'm meant to work the dirt with my history crew, but everywhere I look, my interest taboo. Most people choose Bieber over Tippy Canoe. What does a detectorist listen to when the radio is full of bad music and news? I need an alternative for me to peruse. Beyond sight and sound gets fantastic reviews. A metal detecting show where my thought bubble brews. Thank you, Josh Kimmel, for inviting me to a detecting dork out with guests like yours true. Lee? Are you looking for a high quality beach and sand scoop? Are you trying to take your hunting to the extreme? How about an American-based company that stands behind their product and everything they sell? Then check out our friends over at Extreme Scoops. John has been making scoops for some time now and makes a quality beach and sand scoop to take your hunting to the next level. Extreme Scoops recently released their new sand shredder that works great in the water and on the beach. And if you're a new Equinox user, you may want to check out his Surfmaster X3 that can trap those small targets you new Equinox users are finding out there. Extreme Scoops company approach is let's do it right. So do it right, buy it once, and go to the extreme. Extremescoops.com that's X-T-R-E-M-E scoops dot com. Hey, boys and girls. We are going to talk about S&W Shooters and Prospectors. What is S&W Shooters and Prospectors? We at S&W Shooters and Prospectors help people find treasure. Did you say <laughs> treasure? Yes, treasure. Just listen to this amazing review from our happy customer, Jackie Sparrow. Error. Chocolate ship shape and a pleasure to deal with. I was able to buy everything that I needed at prices that were shillings less than others. I found my nine pieces of eight in no time. Sammy? I know you're asking yourself, why should I shop at SW Shooter and Prospectors? Chuck Smalley has over 45 years of metal detecting experience. He works with each customer one-on-one -on -one to customize their setup to match their skill level. So if you always dreamt of being a pirate, Arr. contact Chuck at SNW Shooters and Prospectors and he'll take a great deal for you. I pass and rum, not included. Caution. Please do not operate motor vehicles or power equipment while under the influence of this show. Listening to this show could cause side effects such as bouts of laughter, violent binges of cabin fever, and even dreams of silver and gold. Please be advised. Now that the fine print is out of the way, on with the show. All right. We are back. <laughs> <clears throat> I know, I know. It, uh, it's not the way that you would like or the way that you would anticipate. So once again, hello to the future me. Hello to the future you. The valued and appreciated listeners. So, Here's what we've got uh, going on. We've got some pokers in the fire. Yes, we do. That is why this episode is titled 
transitioning stand by. So here we are, January 7th. And as you folks know, we have um, been in communication with Spreaker since December 20th. So here we are, we're going on roughly three weeks. And we, I understand you folks have been very, very patient. And believe me, I know. I, I check out the chat, things like that. <clears throat> we have seen that there are still a number of you dropping in to catch the the uh, baked-in episodes, the pre-recorded runs. And the whole reason why we're doing this, obviously we have to keep distribution up, and we want to keep everyone up to date on what is going on around here. Because with everything going on, eh, Things, things have been tense, things have been frustrating, and obviously, as you folks know, we have been alluding to, it may be time to move on. It may be time for a change. And while we've been doing these pre-recorded episodes for you folks to still enjoy and still have a little bit of time to interact with one another in the chat because we know how everybody loves interacting with one another in the live runs that we, we have done. While we've been putting those up for you guys and gals to listen to, something to you know, give you a break from the day or, or to wind down in the evening or to even listen to on your commute or your trip because we know we've got a number of people that they like to, to hit the live run, but then we've got a number of people too that they're archive hitters and they'll hit the archives the, the morning after the live run or a day or two after the live run. And that's great. That's all well and good. And that's why we've been putting these together, taking some time to put these together, so that there's still something there, <coughs> and so that you can uh, stay up to date on the situation at hand. While I've been doing all of this, and, and we have been working on things, we have, and, and we'll get into that a little bit. While I've been working on all of this, I've also been in communication with Chuck. He's been in communication with me. He knows what's going on. Um, we're trying to get things in place, and I would love to say that I am ready to make that announcement currently. Unfortunately, I'm not. And it's basically, I'm, I'm still waiting on some equipment to come in. I mean, you, you all got to remember, this is out of the control. This is beyond the control of Beyond Sight and Sound. I can't control the shipping time. I can't control the weather patterns and... The weather patterns have messed with the shipping schedule, so there are still certain pieces that I am waiting on. Could I make the announcement now? Could I make the transition now? Yes. Will I? Uh, no. Not quite yet. And the whole reason for that being is because... I want to make sure that we have everything set in place just so 
and that gives me time to tweak and tune, hopefully, work out any potential hiccups, we'll say. Because everybody knows sometimes there can be hiccups. I mean, hey, technology, you know, it works great when it works. When it doesn't, well, ah, then it's not so great. Then it's not so great at all. Then it gets frustrating. And I'm sure that you folks are definitely, definitely a little bit frustrated at this point. And believe me, I know. I see the comments in the chat. I get the messages from people. From, from some of you that are even in the chat now, probably. Well, will be here in the near future. I get the calls from people. And I understand that now there has even been a bit of an issue with logging in or finding the chat to begin with because of Something that has changed in the layout on the user end. And that's, I feel for you folks because I know how frustrating that can be. Apparently, everything still works through the, the mobile app, as far as I know, the way I understand it. So, I've been in communication with Spreaker. I know uh, I've mentioned that before. I've had some back and forth communication, and some of that communication has gotten, uh, let, let's just say that uh, at this point, maybe we're not playing real well with each other, as far as me and the hosting service goes. So, I could go ahead and tell you what they've been telling me, but it seems like at this point we have some listeners in the chat. I noticed on the previous episode, on Wednesday's episode, that uh, seem to think that I'm dealing with a technical issue on my end. And I'm not necessarily dealing with a technical issue on my end in the traditional aspect. Okay. As far as any issues on my end, things are working just fine. Now, that being said, yes, I mentioned that I'm waiting on some equipment to come in. But that is because we are in a transition phase right now. And I want to make sure everything works just so before we put that to practical application. And I've been referring to a theory that I have. And I mentioned a little bit of that in the last episode. And that's that uh, piece of equipment that I'm waiting on is to try and incorporate that theory and make sure that everything works just so. <clears throat> because many of you folks, when you want to interact with the show on our side of it, say like when a guest and I are talking, or Chuck and I are talking, or even Chuck and the guest and I, or guests, multiple, sometimes you folks like to call into the show. And we've always had the uh, call-in line. Always. You know, don't get it confused with Ethel, because we've, we've seen people do that, but we, we've got the call-in line. We've had that line for years, and we're trying to make sure that we can still keep that incorporated. Now, there's two reasons. Well, actually, there's a few reasons for that. One, we still want you folks that are used to calling into the show 
to still be able to call in the way that you're used to doing it. So that's one part of it. Two, we're removing the echo. Some of you, when you call in, there may be a little bit of feedback, a little bit of echo. It may be a little bit confusing or disorienting. And we're, we're trying to remove that. And three, there have been times where when we're doing an episode live, that maybe the internet goes out for Chuck, and he wants to interact with you folks, because he gets a blast out of interacting with everyone, too. He really enjoys it. And his internet goes down. Well, now, how is he able to interact with the show? And in the past, when that has happened, I've still been able to get him into the show at least on my side. He may not be able to see the chat because his internet's down. But then once the internet comes back up for him, he's usually right there in the chat too and keeping an eye on things in the chat and all of that. And that's great. So we want to be able to have a, a, a contingency plan in place in case something like that were to happen. Because that's another thing. Uh, Chuck is also in a little bit of a transition as well. He's finally getting away from his internet service provider. And he's going to a new ISP. That should be much better for him. I mean, it's, it's going to be a win-win situation all the way around for him. And he misses interacting with all of you folks. And believe me, so do I. And maybe we've been away for a while now. But we do, you know, see the chat after the show, all of that, go back, review the comments and everything. And we see who's still dropping in. And we appreciate that, and, and we know it's been frustrating, and we understand that it's maybe not as much fun for you folks because we're not live. And we're working on that. Now, for some of you folks, you may or may not have noticed we have been working on things in the background. Trying to get things in place slowly but surely here and there. Uh, and it's been subtle changes. Very subtle. You folks may not have even picked up on them yet. And we're not doing that because we're, we're being sneaky or anything. We're just trying to get everything in place. And not only are we trying to get everything in place, we're trying to make we're we're trying to make it easier for people to make the association, so to speak. Um, one good example is that we always advertise the YouTube channel in the chat of Ohio Metal Detecting, which is where, you know, we had mentioned in the past that we're, we're possibly diversifying and spreading out our reach to do, to continue to do the, the live audio shows that you folks love to enjoy, but not only to do that, but to... Uh, go ahead and do at least a video live stream once a month. We'll try it once a month and see what happens. And who knows? If there's enough interaction with it, we may go ahead and continue that or expound on that and... Uh, Maybe do it more than once a month. Maybe do it twice a month. I don't know. 
we'll just have to wait and see. And that's something that uh, you folks have had the opportunity to chime in on. I know we did have a poll up in the Metal Detecting Beyond Sight and Sound Facebook group to see what people preferred if they had a preference. You know, uh, traditional live audio podcast video live stream, both or either, or maybe your device really doesn't allow you to enjoy a video live stream. I know that some people, they like to tune in through their smartphone. And if any of you are like some of the rest of us, it gets rather difficult to follow the chat on such a small screen. Whether whether it's an audio podcast or whether it's a YouTube live stream. So that's why some people may not necessarily interact in the chat during a, live, a video live stream. Like you folks may see me over pop in from time to time with our buddies over on Detect America. And you'll see me pop into the chat, and you may or may not see me say a whole lot, just because of the simple fact that the chat can be a little difficult to follow at times. It's not that I'm not there or not listening, because many times I am listening. And I know, it's a video live stream. Aren't you watching the video? Does it, you know, don't you enjoy to watch a video? Yeah, I'll watch the video sometimes. But there's other times that I've got the video playing and I'm just listening to it. I'm doing things at the computer or, uh, I don't know, scheduling bills, whatever. You know, the normal day-to-day -day life. So... Just because it is in a video format doesn't necessarily mean that you have to watch the video. You can still have the video playing and just listening to it. So we're, we're still incorporating or going to incorporate the video live stream feature. And that's one of the subtle changes that we've been up to. A year or so ago, we did change the profile picture on Ohio Metal Detecting to the cover work of the show. And there were a, a few people that they picked up on it. It kind of confused them a little bit. They recognized the cover art. They recognized the logo. But the name threw them off. Or, say, Flash in Your Pan, for example. They, they do a YouTube live stream on Tuesdays. And there have been times where I'll just drop in there unannounced, and it never fails. Ed can't remember. He's like, wait a minute. Hey, Bill, or is that Josh? Uh, I'm not sure. Because it, it messes with him, especially with the names being so similar, you know, Ohio Relic Hunter and Ohio Metal Detecting. It's difficult for him to keep up on on the association, and who knows, maybe Ed's gotten better about that, I don't know. I have not had the opportunity to drop in on one of his live streams here recently. I know there for a while he was doing auctions through his live stream. And not only was he doing auctions through his live stream, he was, uh, he was doing them fairly regularly. And I believe the last I knew, I think he still does them like once a month. I mean, he, he still does the, the weekly live stream. But then once a month, he'll maybe he does his auction still. I don't know. And shame on me, I, I haven't kept up real close with that. Anyway, we, we made that switch with the profile picture, but it still threw some people off because they recognize the logo, but they see the name Ohio Metal Detecting, and they're like, wait a minute, it, uh, uh, I think it's Josh. You know, ringing KG, you're like, well, it looks like, I mean, it, it's his logo. 
So it must be him, right? So we've changed the YouTube channel name so that it's easier for people to make that association. So now the YouTube channel has changed its name officially to Beyond Sight and Sound. That way it's easier for people to make that association when we do try to incorporate the YouTube live stream. When is the YouTube live stream coming, you may ask? Uh, well, I can't. I can't give you a clear, defined answer on that yet, because there again, we want to make sure that we still work in that caller capability so that you folks, if you want to interact with the live stream, you can still do that, either through the chat or by calling in. And most of you folks already know, if you really want to get my attention, or Chuck's. Well, Chuck does a great job watching the chat. But especially for me, if you really want to get my attention, you may have to call in. Because sometimes, I'm, and I'm bad about that, sometimes I don't watch the chat. And that could be a good thing, actually, in the long run, because then I don't see a squirrel and go further down the rabbit hole or, or something like that. Because sometimes the chat will take on a whole life of its own while I'm doing the live show and if I get too enthralled with the chat sometimes it it distracts me from the live show so it could be a good thing it could be a bad thing I don't know either way it is what it is so we want to make sure that we have that caller capability when we attempt to do the YouTube live stream. And some folks are probably wondering, okay, well, are you going to simulcast, you know, do a, a video live stream to YouTube and Facebook? I've thought about that. I don't know yet. That all depends. And some of it depends on... It, it would be easier to keep everybody in one place just to be able to keep track instead of having to watch two different feeds to see what's going on in either chat. It just makes it a little simpler for me. Probably makes it a little simpler for you guys and gals as well. So I'm not sure yet if we're going to try to multicast. We, we may do one or the other. Like maybe, who knows, maybe we'll do... YouTube one month and Facebook the next just to kind of see where is the interaction coming from? Where is the, the, the bulk of the viewership at that point? And then that may shift. We may see that the bulk of the viewership is coming from YouTube and will stay over on the YouTube side as far as the video live stream. I'm not real sure yet how that's going to go. And there is no good answer other than that's going to have to be put to real-time application to see what happens. So some of this is going to be kind of on the fly, so to speak. We won't know if it works until we try it, or how well it'll work. And then from there, we can decide, okay, where do we go from here? And we'll see how, how things go with that. So we've got that going on. Now, on the other side of things, we have also been doing things in the background as far as the live run goes, to get you guys and gals and us all back into a live run environment. An audio live stream, if you will. Live podcast. Call it what you want. But we're working on it. And we are very, very close at this point. We've been investigating uh, other options for a while now, and I think 
we've finally made up our mind what direction we're going. Yes, it is going to be a move. That's why we're transitioning. And yes, unfortunately, that means that you folks that love to follow the show will have to register for another account. It'll be a free account. So there, there's no worries there. And let's face it, I mean, some of you folks have been having issues logging in very recently and in the past. And there's one good thing that I can say. The where we're looking at as far as moving the show to their customer service, at least thus far, seems to be stellar. I mean, I I have reached out to a few different hosting services to ask a couple of questions or maybe ask for further clarification on certain topics, issues, whatever, and they've been quite helpful and friendly and very speedy response, actually. One in particular I reached out to on a Friday night between Christmas and New Year's. So this is the Friday before New Year's, and I reach out to them with some questions, fully expecting it's a holiday weekend, it's 8 o'clock Friday night, I'm not going to hear anything from these people until Wednesday at the soonest. And I got some sort of uh, auto-generated reply, you know, thanks for reaching out to us, we'll have someone in contact with you shortly, yada yada yada. And imagine my surprise when 20 minutes later I get a response from a real person who took the time to answer the specific questions that I had and not only did they take the time to answer the specific the specific questions that I had they took the time to include some links in case I had a follow-up concern or wanted further clarification on certain questions anything like that And that's, that's, you know, look at that in a perspective of that was not a customer needing support. I just had some questions, you know, hey, is, I have these questions because I want to know. Inquiring minds need to know. Is this where I want to have a new location for you guys and gals to find us at and, and have fun and all of that. Will this environment work? I don't know. And with some of the hosting services that we've looked into, there have been certain issues that we did not like, while there were others that we did. And let's face it, they when when you sit back and look at all of the available options, because podcasting is quite a popular thing, there are a number of options out there, and they all have pros and cons. It's the same thing with the YouTube live streams. They all have pros and cons as far as the software that you would like to use to do your video live stream. Uh, Things of that nature. We've got the same thing over here on the audio side. We have the software that we want to use or we have to use. We have different interfaces or microphones. Um, all, all of that sort of stuff. And a lot of it is because we're trying to produce content for the listeners to consume, basically, in in the form of an entertaining show, an informative show, uh, quality audio, 
things of that nature. So we are still working on that. We do think we have made a decision on where to go. We're still trying to set up things there, and obviously it's going to be a little bit of a different look as far as the environment that you folks see, the environment that we see here on our end when we're doing a live production, because, you know, it's, it's live. Anything could happen, and we have to be prepared for any sort of hiccups that may arise or anything like that. And that, there again, some of this we may have to kind of do on the fly, real time application to see how things work for us. So we're getting closer. We're, we're almost ready to make that switch. And when we do, we will make an announcement. We will do one more pre-recorded show here to let you folks know that we're moving and this is no this is nothing different we've done this before in the past we've done this when we left thousand mics and let everyone know that we were going to blog talk we did this when we left blog talk to let everyone know that we were going to Spreaker. and when when we were doing that we also had shows in place on the other side to let folks know Hey, stay tuned. Uh, we're, we're in a transition. We will be here shortly. And we've been working on that. So far, we have not made the announcement anywhere. But rest assured, we are working on it. We are trying to get things in place. And we're getting closer. And um, I've been doing a lot of... Hmm, I've been doing a lot of reading, we'll just put it that way. I've been comparing plans, comparing uh, hosting services, platforms, uh, mobile apps, uh, software, hardware, interfaces, mics, settings, all of that stuff. I've been trying to check all of this out. And I can say that the analytics seem to be clearer. They seem to be more in depth so that we're able to see uh, what, what direction the show is going. We're able to see which episodes the listeners prefer, uh, the commenting, things of that nature. It's going to take a little more time. I know you folks probably aren't happy about that. I'm not happy about it either. So I'm kind of in the same boat with you guys. I'm not very happy at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's why we waited to... Uh, pre-record this show because if we had pre-recorded this show say two three days ago uh, it it might have uh, it might have had to air with a special disclaimer because we were not very happy at that point And suffice to say, I'm, I'm still not necessarily very happy about it. Okay? We don't want to have to move. We don't. We've been here on this particular hosting service for more than seven years here on Spreaker. And we've built up a lot of distribution over the years. And we've got a lot of time invested into the project here at Spreaker. A lot of money invested in the project here at Spreaker. And when we see the issue on the horizon, and I know you folks keep hearing me talk about an issue and you're kind of going, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. It's only on him. 
It's on his end. Well, all I can tell you is what I continue to get peace fed from Spreaker support. And I can tell you from what I'm hearing, as long as they're not full of themselves, and they may be, from what I'm hearing, it's coming. There's a storm brewing, basically, and I don't know what's going to happen at that point. I mean, if it happens, who knows where some of the shows go. Some of the shows may be fine with staying right here where they're at. Us, on the other hand, we are not just fine staying right here where we're at on Spreaker. It's time for a change. Over the years, maybe we've got a little complacent. Everyone's used to the layout. And it's starting to get to be repetition pattern, habit. So sometimes a change can be a good thing. We're going to see how it goes. And hopefully, all of you folks will be ready to make the transition with us. We hope when we make the transition and we come out on the other side that you folks are still there showing all of your support like you have in the past and continue to do, hopefully. I think we've found an okay place to go to the new cheers of metal detecting, so to speak. And we'll see what happens from there. So, very soon, stay tuned, we will be making that announcement. Fact is, I probably could have made it tonight, but eh, we're, we're still waiting on something and waiting on clarification. Tomorrow, I'll know more, but unfortunately, that's not tonight. That's tomorrow. So, we'll see what happens. Hang in there with us, though, folks, as we make this transition. We'll let everybody know when we're ready to move, and hopefully everyone's there when we come out on the other side. Hey, change can be a good thing. It could be fun. Who knows? You might even enjoy it. Call it our uh, 2024 resolution. We're ready to make a change to try and continue to produce good content and a good listening environment for all of you great folks. Until the next time, get out there and find a bucket lister if you can, dig it all, post up those pictures, you know how we love to see them, check out the Facebook groups, all of that. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful evening, folks. We're out of here. Thank you.